Hello, this is a video looking at even functions and odd functions and combining two such functions by addition, by subtraction, by multiplication, by division, and by composition. So let's take two even functions, f and p, and two odd functions, g and q. So an even function is one in which you put in negative x to replace x, and what comes out is just the original function. An odd function is where when you put in negative x to replace x, and what comes out is negative 1 times the original function. An even function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. An odd function is symmetric with respect to the origin. An example of an even function is y equals x squared, or y equals cosine x. An example of an odd function is y equals x cubed, or y equals sine of x. So let's look at adding two such functions. Let's take an even and an odd function and add them together. To check and see whether it's even or odd, or possibly neither, what we do is we do exactly the same thing. We replace negative x for x. In the f function, it goes back to the original. But in the g function, a negative 1 comes out. So your addition of these functions flipped into subtraction of these functions. When compared to the original, it's not exactly the same. It's not negative one times. So what you're getting out is neither. When you add an even function to an odd function, what comes out is neither even nor odd. What if you add two even functions? Well, you put in the negative x to replace the x. And what happens is that the original functions come back out. f of negative x is f of x p of negative x is p of x. So you're back to the original function. You put in negative x, and what came out is the original function that makes this function even. So the addition of even functions is an even function. All right, great. How about the addition of two odd functions? Well, when you put the negative x in for x, both of them bring out a negative 1. You can factor that negative 1 out, and you're back to the original function. So you put in negative x for x, and what you got out is negative 1 times the original function. So the function is odd. So the addition of two odd functions is an odd function. OK, great. Well, the same is going to happen with subtraction. But let's look it up. Look it up. Let's look at it in all of its gory details. So. We're going to put in negative x to replace the x. So how about an even minus an odd? It'll be the same if it was the other way around, an odd minus an even. And so the f of negative x just stays as f of x. The g of negative x becomes negative 1 times that. And we already have the negative for subtraction sign, and so it comes to addition. So the subtraction of these two functions turn into the addition of the same two functions. That's neither even nor odd. So when you try to subtract an even from an odd or an odd from an even, what comes out is neither even nor odd. All right, how about two evens? Just like above, the addition of two evens, same thing is going to happen with the subtraction of two evens. They just come back as the original. That makes it even. So an even minus an even, just like an even plus an even, the result is even. What do you think about odd? An odd function minus an odd function. Just like above, each one of them has a negative 1 that comes out. That negative 1 will flip the subtraction to addition. We could factor out the negative 1 since it's both of them. And what happens then is that we get negative 1 times the original function. And that is odd. So. When you subtract two odd functions, you get an odd function. When you add two odd functions, you get an odd function. When you add two even functions, you'll get an even function. When you subtract two even functions, you get an even function. When you mix the two, you end up with neither. All right, great. Sounds good. Now let's look at multiplication and division. We have an even function times an odd function. So you put in the negative x. The f of x just comes back as f of x. The f of minus x comes back as f of x. And the g of negative x comes out as a negative 1 times that, which you could factor out and have negative 1 times the original. So an even function times an odd function is odd. 
Okay, it would have been the same if it was i times even the other way around. Okay, how about two even functions? Multiply them together. They both come back as the original. So that makes it even. So an even times an even is, is even. How about the product of two odd functions? Well, each one of them is gonna bring out a negative one, and those two negative ones are gonna cancel each other out. And you're back to the original function. That's an even function. So the product of odd functions is even, the product of even functions is even, and the product of the mixture is odd. Same is going to hold for division. If I take f of x divided by g of x, even divided by an odd, or vice versa, the negative one is going to come out of the denominator, but not in the numerator. The numerator is just going to spit back an f of x. And so we'll get negative one times the original function. It's odd. So whether it's the product, or the division of a mixture of even and odd functions, no matter what the order is, it comes back as odd. But when they're the same, when you have the product or division of even functions, it's gonna come back as even. The f of negative x is f of x, the p of negative x is p of x, it's back to the original function, it's even. The product of odd functions is even, the quotient of odd functions also even. What's going to happen is the negative one's going to come out of each of them and then cancel out, and you're back to the original. That's an even function. Okay, great. So this is different results than what we had for addition and subtraction. And the last operation we want to look at is the composition of functions. So let's take f of x, f of g of x. G of x is the inside function being odd. F of x is the outside function being even. So it's an even composed with an odd. We put in negative x, but we start on the inside. So g of negative x is negative g of x. And then we're looking at f of negative g of x. Now remember now, in this composition, what happens is g of x takes the place of all the x's, but we already know that when you have f of negative x, you just come back with f of x. Same is going to be true for composition. If you have f of negative g of x, what comes back out is just f of g of x, the original function. So the composition of an even and an odd function is even. And we're going to find out that's true regardless of the order. Let's flip it. Let's do g of f of x. Let's do a, an odd composed with an even. On the even on the inside. Well, when you put the negative x in to f on the inside, what comes back out is just f of x. Back to the original function. So it's even. How about the composition of two even functions? You know what's going to happen here. You put the negative x in for x, you get the original back. So whenever there's an even in the mix of the composition, who comes back as even? When you compose two odd functions, watch what happens. We have the inside function, who comes back as a negative 1 times q of x. And then we have the outside function, who comes back as a negative 1 times g of q of x. You see. This negative, so, so when you have a composition of functions, the input function replaces all the x's. We know what happens with all the x's, so now the same is going to happen even though we have an entire function replacing those x's, a negative one is going to come out. And what we have is negative one times the original function. It's odd. So when you're doing composition, whenever there's an even in the mix, the result is even. But when you compose two odd functions, the result is odd. And we've considered every single combination of two such functions and all the operations that we could do with them. This is the end of the video. Thank you.